Right, so I've started getting the cat cages filled up. They've got two pillows on the base. There's going to have a fleece over the top of that. Cut little tray in. That'll be filled, put it in later. One hammock up, and I'll probably put the other hammock over the little tray. Um, and then also be one on the outside. I think we've got four or six now. If I've got six, and one be on the outside as well. So that's two cages filled. So I've just got pillows on the bottom, and they have nice fluffy fleeces. I put their bed up there, so there's a sky bed up there and a little walkway. Um, I should keep out the way of the main cupboards at the moment, might move it later until I know what, how much space the wheel takes up. I don't know if I've got space here for a corner cupboard for myself. Again, there, look, I had to just try that, the door has to open, so I've got to be aware of what space I need for doors opening and everything as well. Um, so I need to think about hooks and them to be opened. Still trying to get those top bolts and that off, struggling with that at the moment. Um, frame of tin snips, so I'm going to get the tin snipping in a minute. But I've got somebody coming to see Sammy in, a sec Sammy in a second about buying him, sadly, so uh, I've just got to keep my eye out for them as well. I thought I'd get some work done while I'm in here. Obviously it looks a lot better to be fitted out. <sighs> right like that basically it's a, it comes with a shelf I have to put extra screws in as well and there's velcro on the top so it's just a nice circle bed a basic circle bed that they can just sit on top and it's velcroed in place so it can come out to be washed and everything you can see why I wanted that um, top section boarded off now so I can just see what's going on and watch what's going on <coughs> probably need more of those but I need to make my own really they're expensive right catch you later Right, so I've just been putting the hardware on. So on the inside, I just have a simple little latch. Um, I might put myself a padlock on here later, but you know, if I'm in with the cats, that's fine. Obviously, I'm secure. Um, on the outside, we have to secure them in. We've got a hinge I can put a bolt on, a padlock on. A couple of tweezers just to sort of keep it secure, keep it straight, keep the door straight. And then put a padlock on that one up there. And that also just helps keep it straight working from opening the padlock. I need to get the padlock on that to stop it opening and closing. Um, I might put a bolt on as well somewhere. I don't know if I've got space for a bolt. The floor one's probably better. Put it there. I do, just gonna put a padlock through there and that can be the closure. And then also you can just people can come here and look in there. There'll be information holders here. I'll just put a bit of wood on there because the screw was coming through into it. Um, so that I'm just going to screw that back in properly at the moment. And obviously that can become a, a little information cupboard as well. Put a bit of play on that as well. And that's how it be. Some bits I've run out of this sort of stuff. But I just need to put a couple more there and there and put some ply against it. And I've got my little um, cupboards. Um, I haven't got a short enough hint, uh, screws with that. So I'm just protecting the screws and by the bit of wood. Um, but there you go. Door is done. Um, so I say, just put the twizzles on, just for a bit of extra help to stop that swinging open. Because obviously, as soon as you take the twizzles off, it, it doesn't close, it doesn't stay closed. Obviously, the cats will jump out as soon as possible. So as soon as that is off, the cats are out. Um, but let's say at least that's the security door. So if I've got a door shut there, I open this, they can't go straight out. Whereas without this door, they could escape. So that comes up and sits against whatever I'm going to make there. Obviously, the bed's going to go here, and we'll have some sort of little wardrobe there so it'll actually rest against that and there's your space inside cat wheel will go in here um like i said i'm probably going to get some sort of corner shelving in there i don't know how big the cat wheel is going to go as i keep saying it is four foot across so it should take up most of this space um but there's still room for you know i say maybe another cat bed there if nothing else um we'll see what happens these are quite nice aren't they might get another one of these and put one there if there's room um because i'll say i can't afford to do cupboards and everything yet so it's been a matter of just having loads of boxes pushed under the bed for uh, clothes and storage and things like that um it'd be nice to make some sort of miniature wardrobe going up the wall here so i've got something to put my clothes in um but we'll see what happens so yeah now it's a matter of just tidying up now and uh keep bringing things in uh, like i said i've still got to do something outside with bentley there are some folding pet steps which I was looking at, but I don't think they're tall enough. Um, but they're very tidy, so I might still order them. Um, I 
and at least it, you know, you can go up in the steps. But saying to me, it's a bit posh and uh, not really needed. Ideally, I just want to have some little shelves going down the side of the lorry, but then that makes it wider than the eight foot, and I don't know what the legalities of that are. So ideally, I wanted them so that they would be hinged. So basically, outside have some some wood coming down from the cat flap, and have hinged pieces of wood that will fold up or fold down when we're travelling, and can just be hinged up. Um, when we're not, so it's a matter of actually hinging down is a lot better. So I might go and make some hinged pieces of wood out there and then obviously when I open the little door a cat can jump up and from that my steps and up into the lorry and it can be folded down at the times. Um, I really need to do that before we go because he needs to be able to get out. But there again I can obviously also always let him out the door steps here and he can come in and go in and out that way. Um, which we'll have to make do for now and he'll learn to go in and out this box. This is very stiff, this hook. Um, needs a good old push to get it out. <coughs> I can't even do it. I might have to just change that. But I'd rather that's quite stiff and needs a bit of a bang to open that so no cats can get in and out of there accidentally. Oh, I've still got to do this one. Let's go this down, but um, I don't think they're going to be lifting that up. Again, it's all okay at the moment. It's all a lot of make do. So I'm going to tidy up now. Um, this is the other hammocks I've got, so I've got to try and put the grey, I've only got four, so I've got two grey ones as well, so these grey ones I'm going to try and put on that back wall. So, if you've got three cats in here, one on the floor, one in the hammock, one in the hammock that side. So there is room for three, but they do share. Um, but I may not need to, I might have one on the outside here and one inside because this one's for the boys and they don't necessarily need to have that many, I haven't got many boys now. So one of these will go on the outside here. Just like so, if I'm just show you high enough. I can reach like that, so there would be a hammock on the outside. These aren't very good, the, the grey ones compared to the white ones. Um, obviously the radiator beds, so you really need to have the width to make it work. But you see there'd be a hammock on the outside as well there. Just so when they're in the room they've got an option of hammocks as well. Um, I say they're not great, but they make do. Might find somewhere else to put that off the idea they go over the, the window sills and sort of come over like that but um let's say we just make this make this up as we go along all right that's it for now bye for now all right just been using a bit of leftover in the, um turn over just put a little bit of window frame on that just to tidy up the wire and protect the wire there's a bit of wire under there still but i'll bring that in it just protects this from it there we go what it looks like from this side. A few bits of wire. I'll probably put a bit more over that side as well later on when I've got a bit more wood. Um, but I say it's not a matter of getting it perfect right now, it's a matter of just getting it secure so the cats can come in. Um, oh so now let's have a look. Get it all shut just by you just putting that on it. Okay, there we go. I can use twizzles to keep her straight. Um, this bit of this is not right. I need to take that screw out and put it back on again. Um, and yeah, that's wonky as well. But we'll get it sorted. It's all good. So one cat room. And people can look in and see the cats. I've got tied up now. It's all it is at the moment. It's just a messy tool room. Get in there. Double hooks. Safety inside. Cat bed there. Got a cat litter there to go in the litter trays. I've just put that hammock on the top on the outside because uh, Miss Chief likes to sleep up high in that one. Um, I'm just having the single white ones inside because it's so hard to get them in and out and keep them clean and everything. Just need a couple of nice fleeces to go inside there and fill the cat litter trays. Um, obviously with Sammy leaving. Um, I haven't said that have I? I've sold Sammy. He's going this weekend. So that means I'm going forward with five cats, just Bentley the feral, the two kittens and the two females. So they'll they travel fine in that. Um, obviously Bentley may have to go somewhere. Um, I might bring in a, um, his box for him, a separate box for him. Um, but he should travel in those cages quite happily. Um, yeah, so we're doing okay. Quite a day now. Just replaced, uh, well just put up this shelf again. You can see the screws are too long, it's just temporary. Just a little catwalk, just a placement thing. So I'm just standing at the moment to have a little look around. Um, it's, a, it's an exterior like um, cladding thing, I think, which has freed up 
this plank which was over this side so I've just matched these two up okay so again it's just very flimsy but the cat should be able to walk on that which this bit of chunk of wood is what I'd like to have for a bent this little walkway outside um obviously I can have wider really but it's that's the only thing I've got really worth doing at the moment so we'll see if we can do something with that um and that's it I'm gonna call it a day now it's getting dark I'm knackered but good see to the cats so let you see we've got the door still got to knock all this down but it is what it is it's coming on so as I say bed set is going to go across there I've just got to get these benches out um, and then that's the cat area the door's done and then we go into my area I'm still working on if I just go in here and turn around you can see what it looks like it's that bit it's not straight so I'm gonna have to take the screw at that side and just lift it up a bit but don't worry about that afterwards that was just put in place just to a uh, um, hold the screw straight to the side and that's looking inwards into the cat area we will go there and then you now shut this cat goes across there put a twizzle across a bit of stability and I step back again so you can see it again I might put the bottom twizzle on but you can see that's quite tidy uh, got the airflow going through the top and they can also sort of can look through that got the mesh here so people can see into the cats um, as I say it'll be a, a coat air, hanging area so I'm going to put my boots um, that's the loo room and probably all the electrics in there as well and the water hot water systems for all the bath and everything and I've got to just pack this as it is as I say I'm getting my desk drawers in um, got a nice little sideboard there to make do a kitchen. So I've just got to load it all up, all now. And the mattress will go on the floor in here. I need to sleep at the moment if need be. Just hung myself some key hooks and everything up. So I'm going to get all my bits and pieces so I can keep hold of it. Um, so obviously I've got to work in here and as well. It's not just about going off on a working holiday. I've got a lot of work to catch up on as well, readings and everything. So, and painting and artwork. Right. Off to see the cats, catch you later.